Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can actually use an image for the background of the entire footer in your Squarespace 7.1 website. Now what we're going to be doing today is uploading this image into the custom files section of your website, and then we're going to assign it to the footer background. Okay? So I'm going to walk you through this step by super simple step. The codes that you need are listed in the description beneath the video. But again, I want to stress this is for Squarespace 7.1, the latest version of Squarespace. So if you're using an older site like a Brine template, check out the links below for more information on the Brine specific tutorial or information on figuring out which version you're in if you have no idea what I mean by that. Okay? Okay, awesome. Let's go ahead and hop into my demo site and get started with this tutorial. So here we are in my Squarespace website and I have three different footers down here at the very bottom. Now it's really important to mention using 7.1, you can assign a photo or as a background to any particular section of your site. This tutorial is to apply it to all three at once. So let's say you have multiple different sections and you want this background to span all of them instead of just one section. That's what we're going to be doing today. So I'm going to navigate to design and then scroll down to custom CSS at the bottom. Now down here at the very bottom, we have a button that says manage custom files. I'm going to click on that. And this is where we're going to drag and drop the image that we want to use as the background for all three sections. You can also click the little arrow at the top. That'll open up the file explorer on your own uh, computer there. But if you're like me, I'm a drag and dropper. Just going to take that file and drop it right there. All right. Now the next thing you're going to need to do is grab the code that's in the description beneath the video. I'm just going to paste it right here. So we'll be good to go. And then what we're going to do is right where it says URL here in between those single quotation marks, we're going to remove that text, leaving those single quotation marks. That's really important. And we're going to select manage custom files again and just click on that image that we uploaded. That is going to paste the URL for our hosted file. Now this file is hosted on our website, so we have control over that URL. It's the safest place to put it in my opinion. So then the next thing that we need to do is we need to remove the actual backgrounds for these footer sections. So right now we've added the image as a background, but our browser still thinks we need these solid colors there as well. So we're going to add two more lines of code that are also listed in the description beneath the video and check it out. As soon as I pasted those, those went to transparent and we now have this background image taking up all three sections of the footer. Pretty cool, right? That's honestly it for this super quick tutorial. All you have to do is upload the image and replace the text in that code beneath the video where it says your URL here. Replace that with the URL for your self-hosted file and you'll be good to go. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial and most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. If you like this tutorial, you'll love my CSS cheat sheet. With over 30 pages of pro tips and code snippets specific for Squarespace, you can customize your site way beyond your design menu. Download your copy today at insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS.